I think I can trace my love for photographing these bridges back to one of the very first covered bridges photos I ever made. That was probably at the start of my photojournalism career. And it was a photo made in the early 1990s. This is probably my first covered bridge photo. I could not believe my luck when this classic car came driving over the bridge. It was just dumb luck. It was, but it was one of those really special moments. An image that I made in the uh, 1990s is still probably my favorite covered bridge photo. I really like the locations, the uh, the country nature, the rural rural locations that these covered bridges are located. They're uh, along charming country roads. They're kind of off the beaten path. I think what draws me to covered bridges is is the uh, the historic nature of them. They're built in a simpler time with real simple materials. I really find them beautiful. on this covered bridge project for a while. I've had some of these shots, some of these shots I've done a long time ago. And uh, some of them are newer. I've always had this kind of uh, interest in covered bridges for some reason. It might just be because we have quite a few around where I live. So I thought I'd do a zine on one. I, I may be the only person that's interested in that subject matter. It's quite a bit different than the nature stuff I do, in a way. It's, it's still kind of landscape photography, but, but with, uh, with a structure, with a subject, with a historic subject matter. All the images in the scene are made 
with digital and film cameras from 35 millimeter medium format, 4x5 large format film. And this is a project that I've been working on informally for, for many years, not really thinking of what I'm going to do with it. My goal is to photograph all the cover bridges in Oregon, and there's, I think, about 50, maybe a little more. This will probably be an ongoing project because even the, the bridges around me, if the weather changes, there's going to be a different light, I'm going to want to go back out and shoot some more photos. I imagine this is this project will will continue through the rest of my life. I'm lucky that I live in an area that people value the historic nature, they value the beauty of these covered bridges and they and they've made the effort to keep them. Sometimes it may not make in economic sense to keep these bridges, although I think they do bring in tourism. I'm just glad that someone decided, ah, we should we should probably keep those. <laughs> There's not very many of them left. If you'd like to preview this Sing Monochrome zine on covered bridges, as usual, there's a link on my website, ridenetsphotography.com, and there will be a link in the description.